Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and we're doing a Maths A level video on integration where we get logarithmic answers. So in this uh, video, the functions I'd like us to integrate are functions of the following. Functions of the form f dashed x divided by f of x. So what do I mean by that? Well what I mean is functions, firstly, where you have a fraction and secondly, where the numerator of the fraction is equal to is equal to the differential of the expression on the denominator of the fraction. Okay, so for example, let's suppose I had a denominator f, uh, f of x. Let's say my denominator was x squared add 3. Okay, so on the denominator I had x squared add 3. The exact differential of this, f dashed x, is equal to 2x. So suppose I was considering integrating something of that form with respect to x. The question is, what would the answer be? Okay, so those are the type of fractions we want to integrate in this video. Now, we've already talked about some of the main ideas for this, so it's just a matter of making it slightly more explicit. Some standard differentiation results. Let's just talk about some standard differentiation results. Suppose I had y is equal to the natural logarithm of x. Okay, and I'm going to put mod just there just to say that the x has to be positive. If we differentiate this, we get that dy by dx is equal to 1 over x. Okay? Here's another result that we know. If y is equal to the natural logarithm of ax add b, a linear combination of x, and we differentiate this, then we get dy by dx would be equal to a over ax plus b the difference of this divided by the original and slightly and the most uh, sort of general case if we have y is equal to learn any function of x not just x or a linear combination of x but any function of x and we differentiate this we get that dy by dx would be equal to the differential of the original function f dash x divided by f of x okay so those are the results, the standard differentiation results we've learnt of in core um, four maths. As such, we have some standard integration results as a result. So, because I know when I differentiate ln x, I get 1 over x, my first result is that if I integrate 1 over x with respect to x, I get the natural logarithm of x, but plus a constant. Okay, because I know that when I differentiate the following, ln ax plus b, I get this. I know that if I integrate anything of the form a over ax plus b with respect to x, I would get the natural logarithm of ax add b plus a constant. And lastly, I know that if I differentiate ln fx, I get f dash x over f of x. So if I integrate anything of the form f dashed x divided by f of x with respect to x, I know that I should get the answer ln modulus of f of x plus c. Now, I've we've talked about these two results before. In fact, we've talked about them uh, in videos 1 and 2 in integration. But this one is the most general case. This one explains the two above. Here, the top one is the differential of x, hence it's ln f of x. Here, the top is the differential of ax plus b, hence the integral of this thing is ln ax plus b. And this is just the most general case. It's saying any function of x on the denominator, if the top, the numerator, is the differential of that, then the integral of the whole expression is ln modulus of f of x plus c. Okay, so this is the big idea I'm going to use and I'm going to show you how you can answer questions of this form. So here's the first one. Example 1, the integral of 2x 
divided by x squared add 1. The first thing I want you to ask yourself, the following question, always ask yourself this when you see an integral of a fraction. Is the uh, numerator differential of the denominator or close to it? In this case, if we differentiated this, we'd get 2x. So it is. We have f dashed x over f of x. So let's state to the examiner the rule we're using. We know that the integral of f dashed x over f of x with respect to x is ln mod f of x plus c. In this case, our f of x is equal to x squared add 1. So the integral of 2x divided by x squared add 1 with respect to x is f dashed x uh, uh, is of the form f dash x over f of x. So our answer is ln the modulus of x squared add 1 plus a constant. And that's our answer. Okay, let's have a go at question 2. The first question I want you to ask yourself is, is the top the differential of the bottom? Now, bef before you do that, you might have been tempted into thinking of this in partial fractions, etc., just pause for a moment and always just ask yourself that question. Is the top the differential of the bottom? Well, the differential of this would be negative 2x. So if I made that a negative 2x, but multiplied outside by negative 1, so I undid that, making it a negative 2x, the top is the exact differential of the bottom. So this, therefore, would be, uh, it's the integral, it's negative, the integral of f dash x over f of x. So this straight away is negative ln 1 subtract x squared plus a constant c. And straight away you get the answer as simple as that. Now you could have done this in partial fractions, etc. and got a similar answer, and got, the, got the right answer as well, but this was a much easier thing to do. Straight away look at it, ask yourself is the numerator the differential of the denominator? And if it's near or close, make it so. Right, what about this one? Ask yourself, before you do anything and think of trig identities, etc., is the top the differential of the bottom? The differential of the bottom would be 2 cos x. So if I make that a 2, so it would be so, and I divide by the 2, so that I undo that, just sticking a 2 in there, multiplying by 2, then the top is the exact differential of the bottom. So I would get the answer a half ln of 3 add 2 sine x plus c. As simple as that. It's a one line thing really when you see uh, the answer. When you see what to do and it's a logarithmic one. And last example. Now before you start uh, trying to do some sort of integration by parts or something we'll learn about later, ask yourself, is the top the differential of the bottom? Now, in this case, it might even be worth writing down the, the bottom and differentiating it. The bottom, or the denominator, is x squared add x add 5 all to the power of a half. Okay, now if I differentiated the bottom, I, I'm keeping it to the power of a half, I'm just thinking of this as f of x, firstly. I'm thinking of this as f of x. I know it's on the, the bottom, but I'm checking if it's of the form f dashed x over f of x. I'm checking if it's of that form, so I'm letting my f of x be the, be the bottom. What would f dashed x be in this case? Well, you bring down the half, it would be a half. Then it would be differentiate the bracket, so it would be 2x add 1, and it would be keep the bracket as it is to the negative a half. Now, in this case, is the top the differential of the bottom? Well, no, it isn't anymore. The top here is not the differential of the bottom. And so, I'm not able to use my logarithmic answer in this case. There must be another technique I must be able to try. It was close because the top was, you get a 2x plus 1 in there, but you get something else. So this is not of this form. So I can't use this logarithmic answer, although it was close. Okay, so the top has to be the differential of the bottom or uh, out by a, a number factor. It can't be out by some function of x. So in this case, we can't use that rule. Okay, so let's summarize what we've learned about um, integrating fractions. Um, 
whenever you've got a fraction, if you're integrating some fract fraction of x, so I'm going to just write integrating a fraction, okay, the first thing you should ask yourself, question one, is is the numerator the differential of the denominator, i.e. is it of the form the integral of f dashed x over f of x with respect to x, in which case the answer is a natural logarithm of modulus f of x plus c. Okay. The second thing you should ask, if you've tried that and you can't do it, usually partial fractions is your way, partial fractions. If you rewrite the algebraic fraction in terms of partial fractions, you usually can go on and answer that. And after that question, uh, if you can't use partial fractions, is there an identity or manipulation you can do with algebra? Is there some sort of algebraic manipulation you could do to make it easier? And last thing, uh, does an earlier part of the question, an earlier part of the question, help. Okay, so that would be the order I'd think about integrating a fraction. Firstly, I'd see is it a logarithmic answer. Second, I'd check partial fractions. Third, I'd see if there's an identity or manipulation I can do to make it easier. And lastly, does some earlier part of the question help and give me a hint on how to do it. So that's everything for this video. In order to check you fully understand these ideas, make sure you do the following exercise. Thanks for watching.